What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a machine that automatically gives you infinite rails. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. This machine works with any type of rail you want. So you can use activator rails, rail, powered rails, and the detector rail. So it works uh, the same for every single one of them. So you can get any type of rail from this machine. So this machine just duplicates the rails and then um, pushes them into the hoppers here where you get your rails. So I'm gonna turn it on briefly. As you can see, there it is. So it's just pushing the rails. You get so many rails, it's it's absolutely ridiculous, but it's so effective and the materials are really cheap for it. This build is very compact, so you can build it anywhere you please, but just keep in mind it's very loud when it's running. So to start off the build, just go one, two, three blocks up, and then place a sticky piston facing that way. And then place one, two slime blocks, and then a lever on the top. This is what it's this is what's gonna push the slime box and then just place an observer on the top facing that way and then another observer facing downwards with your rail on top you can place it this way or you can place it this way it really doesn't matter you can use any type of rail you want as well now we'll place a glass right here right next to the observer and then place a chest here and then a hopper going into the chest now place your glass. Make sure your glass isn't touching these slime blocks or else your machine won't function. So place your glass like this. One, two, three, four high. And then one, two, three, four. And then put one on the top like so. And then just place another one here. And then go down and just fill in the entire thing so it's encased. And then here and there. So now your rails won't be flying out of the machine and it should be collected by this chest here. So to start it up, just hit the lever. You might have to hit it a few times and it should just turn on like so. Keep in mind, you can always change this rail to whatever rail you want. You can change it to your activator rail, your detector rail, or just regular rails or powered rails. And your machine is officially complete. So as you can see, it's just spewing the rails into the hopper and we're getting quite a bit. I think it's like one per second or more than that, two per second. So it's an extremely efficient build and it's so simple. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.